this little note about his hair growing ahead, growing again, is the author's way of telling us, wait a second, the story ain't over. But the story ain't over, not because Samson is regaining the strength he has because that relationship has been broken. The hair growing again is God introducing something new into the story. And it is a sign, in fact, it is a sign that though Samson has abandoned God, though Samson has broken his devotion, God has not forgotten and abandoned Samson. Samson doesn't deserve anything. The hair growing back is a sign of God's grace. My question for you today is, is this. Have you ever been here? Have you ever been where Samson is in this story? Where you've blown it? Where you've made such a big mistake? That there's no going back. When you have to go and you, you have to apologize to someone and you know in your heart there is no reason why they should ever, ever forgive you. Have you ever been in that prison, you know, feeling lost, blind to all that's good in, in the world? Feel like they're just grinding away at that mill. Not because you find any possible meaning in your job, but simply because it's all you've got left to do. Have you ever been there? I bet everyone here has been there at least once in your life. Maybe there's a few who are there right now in that deep, dark hole where Samson's found in the story. And if you get down deep in that hole, you know. I mean, if you're honest with yourself, you know there's no way you can climb yourself out of there. You ain't got it in you. And all you can see when you look at yourself is the failure, which is all you found in yourself. And what you need when you get there is a sign. A sign that even though you fail, even though you've fallen short, that God hasn't given up on you. That's what Samson's growing hair is. It is God's sign of grace coming to Samson at the worst possible place in his life. His hair began to grow again. And I really think that's an awesome sign of God's grace. Because it's something natural. It's something that just happens. It's inevitable. It's part of nature. When you cut hair, it grows back. That's what hair does. Now I know there's a few exceptions to that. <laughs> there's a few cases I know where hair that is gone is gone, and I'm not looking at anyone. But, but the rule for hair is this, that yes, it grows again. It is a sign of God's grace. God has built these signs into nature all around us. When you cut the grass, it grows again. you got to cut it again. And I know that drives us crazy, but it's a sign of grace. And when you look at the trees in the fall and the leaves are falling, and the, and the trees are starting to look dead for all the world, they're not dead. Because in the spring, all of a sudden, from those bare branches, burst forth life beyond hope, beyond darkness, beyond despair. It is a sign of God's grace. God has put them all around us, if only we have eyes to see them. So whenever you are in that place, when you are in prison, when you're blinded to what's good in this world, when you're grinding away at that mill, when you have failed and come short up on all your commitments, Look around. Maybe you've abandoned God. Maybe you've blown it. But God will send you a sign of hope beyond despair, of new beginnings when there should be none. Even then, the hair of your head 